Alright, so now, when you're done talking there, the gate opens up. And, once it's done, then you can just go into the desert. Alright, let's go. That was a little pointless link. He's screaming and you know, you don't even get hurt. That sounded very bad, I know. You're screaming and you don't even get hurt. Man, look at that. I mean, even this, look at that, the scenery in the background. Ha <laughs> see if it's a quick shot. <laughs> the scenery, and you go in to the desert, and you see the same exact stuff. You see the barrel there, and two flags that we just walked past. That's pretty amazing. Alright, so you need your hook shot. I heard that you can get past it um, by using your hover boots too. Oh yeah, I'm putting on the hover boots while you're in the sand here. It makes it a lot easier. And I'm gonna take off my Ocarina. You might, you might want to, blah, 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 blah. You might wonder why. It's a little trick I like to do. Play the song of storms and watch for the lightning strikes so, so you can see the flight poles. Okay, I've seen, alright, see two, I've three, what's this, carpet merchant, oh, I remember him, alright, oh, okay, lightning's still flashing, I guess, okay, I can't see anything else, oh wait, wait, never mind, I can see it, now I can't see anything. Yeah, this is another good use for the Song of Storms, too. We're doing this trick since I was a kid. It's pretty useful if you can't see really well. Especially when you're tired like me, like like I am now. Because I'm really tired. I can't see, like, shit, pretty much. I think these are two flight poles that pretty much say that we reached our destination point where we're safe for now. Go down here. I think there's a gold skull so down here. Skull tool. Skull whatever. I've been pronouncing it's like skull skull so whatever. I don't care. That big fail with the hook shot. We gotta use our hook shot. Thank god. Alright, two flag poles. Or torches, not poles. Gee. Why did I just say flag? God damn it. I'm I'm losing it. I'm going insane. What happened? Oh, right there. God damn it! What's the point of that? Getting 50 rubies when I'm full on rubies? That's the... Ugh. That grinds my gears. I remember right we gotta walk up here. The desert, that is where yeah, I don't care. You can go there and let's find something. Whatever. You told me that already. I think we're in the desert, you idiot. Alright. Be your guide on the way, on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. Haha, <laughs> nice, that's, that's pretty cool. Now this, this ghost or pole, what's it called, takes this weird path, okay? And you'll see that weird path coming up. So yeah, just follow him. Pretty easy. Not, not since we're getting closer to the Colossus, we got um, some, some of those enemies popping on. I forget what they're called, but I know for sure that they're in the first Zelda 2. Right, here's where he takes the weird path, I believe. Yep, okay. He's gonna steal his two flagpoles down there. He's gonna lead us there, okay? Wait, and then he takes... He goes back. Spins in circles. I get hit by an enemy. Goes back to the barrel, the box, 
and now he's gonna go about the flake pool. I don't know if you can just enter once, you know, um, you get over here anyways, but I don't want to take the risk. They're costly. Yeah, so he takes that weird path. Why can't he just go there before? The game just wants to fuck with you because there's more enemies. So, if there's enemies, so that means, like, he's gonna take you in circles so enemies can get a better chance of killing you, you know what I'm saying? the desert colors okay before we enter your temple we got a secret over here you'll see a cracked wall take out your bombs and I'm in and in there. About to get goosed by one of the geese. This is a great fairy fountain. And a little bit of secret. I think I can get Nehru's love here. This will be the second to last time we'll be seeing one of these great fairies. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of all. Okay, I'm just gonna say the same thing. I'll give you a magic spell to show you. <laughs> yep, it is. Oh, now you love. It's blue. This is so fitting. I'm wearing a, my blue tunic, and you know, I like the blue tunic. <laughs> Alright, you got Nero's love cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with the okay. <laughs> Nero's love is in effect for only a limited time. So use it carefully. When battle is ready, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Let's head to the spirit temple. I actually use um, Nehru's love though. I just want to show you guys what it does because it's probably like, the only time I'll actually use it. <laughs> I don't need a protective barrier. If you need a protective barrier, kids, use a condom. Man, I've always wanted to say that in a video. That was like the perfect time to say it. <laughs> oh man. And by the way, I'm gonna send out a message to internet trolls really quick, okay? I'm dealing with one right now. Your birth certificate. What the way of saying sorry from the condom factory. That makes that that's a pretty good joke. I wonder if, if we can do this um right here. Okay. Okay, yeah, we still got it on. Actually no, I forgot we have to turn into a kid first, because we gotta take care of some Oh, well, we don't got any real love. Stalker! Oh no! Oh, it's just you. Never mind. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through time, river. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spear Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this regume of spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Can't decide which one's my favorite. Bowler of Fire, Serenade of Water, or this one. They're both epic though. Oopsie. My bad. Okay, we're not perfect though, right? 
Perfect. You're perfect. So fat on his ass. Which basically I'm just comparing you to a fat woman's ass, which is very, very ugly, I'm guessing. You have learned the Requiem of Spirits. Epic stare down. This last time we'll be seeing you, Sheik. I think. <laughs> 